Hi there, today we are going to go to my favorite Goodwill, then we're going to go to the big Goodwill. Right now we are at my favorite Goodwill. They were actively restocking. You can see all of the carts here. They had this big box of vintage glassware. It looked like it had a punch bowl in there, uh, some larger drinking glasses, some smaller juice glasses. They had two big plastic spoons. It also looked like there was a tray. Here's one of, I would think this would be a punch bowl cup with two handles, or that could have been a sugar bowl. Not quite sure. They had all of this all in one box, as you see here. And I believe, if I remember correctly, the price was $39.99. So they had different kinds of designs to that green glass. I already have a whole bunch of glasses that I'm trying to sell, so that is why I did not pick that up. But shortly after I walked away, a lady put that in her cart. They had a whole bunch of these mugs, and I am using my superior math skills to show you <laughs> how many there are. I'm not quite sure what they were from and why there were so many here at Goodwill, but there were. And then I looked at this plate because my dad is actively trying to find a replacement for a, a plate that is kind of sea themed that he accidentally burned in the microwave <laughs> and here we are looking at the mugs and let me know if you see any mugs that you like and I'll try and get it for you <laughs> I did find these though these so nice and glass bottoms these two little bud vases had cute little cardinal on them. They were marked made in Japan, so they had some age to them. I believe they were $1.99 a piece. Yep, there's the price tag. Um, I really wasn't feeling it, but I was still giving you a look and me a look at the shelves, seeing if I needed a bacon cooker for my microwave. I decided no <laughs> and moved on to this art pottery piece. It was signed on the bottom. It was $3.99. At first I thought it had a chip on the inside there, but I think it was just some missing glaze. And then I thought this was kind of silly. They were selling the two little espresso cups. They were heart shaped for $4.99. And then the matching saucers underneath were being sold separately for $1.99 a piece, which didn't make any sense to me because they obviously went together. So why not sell the whole thing for $4.99? But I don't do the pricing at Goodwill. I only buy the stuff at Goodwill. You're going to see quite a few, I think, silly prices on items in today's video. I am trying not to be negative about it. I'm just pointing out facts. This was distributed through Wegmans, which is a grocery store chain. I thought that was pretty interesting. I thought it was very sweet. Nice and cheery. It kind of went with those two bud vases. And then here was our restaurant stencil set. I think you stick them in one of those display things. And that was only $2.99. You have all these books. This owl. That's a neat owl. Made in China. That's neat. I have this book. I have that book. Yes. <laughs> nice. That's a great book. It's this wooden thing. Oh, it's a jewelry box. Signed. Well, if it's signed, I'll take it. There's the signature right there. Okay. 
anything else in here. Oh, someone took the green. Party light. Let's see what the party light is. Holiday frosted votive holders. Yeah, <laughs> probably prevents us from digging. I know. You have to take everything. Let's go look at the uh, purses. I think the speaker is un above the uh, purses and the scarves. So I found a Burberry scarf. <laughs> I'm sure it was a copy. Uh, I was looking through here to see if there were some vintage ones, some older scarves. I found some really nice ones in the past. And that's a really loud car driving by my house, if you um, can hear that in the background. <laughs> we're going to wrap up our trip here by looking at this set of milk bottles that is selling for $60. It's been here for a while but no one has bought that yet. So let's move on to the big Goodwill. A few moments later. It was pretty busy here at the big Goodwill, but I persevered. This angel was $12.99, and then the smaller one was $9.99. They were really pretty. I don't believe they had any chips or cracks to them. I am going to go back and forth with voiceover and in live shopping. I hope you don't mind. Acrylic stars. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the Valentines. Looking for Valentine things. Hmm. That's kind of neat. Candle holder, stained glass thing. Anything too exciting. This will guide you. The dandy. He's cute. He's cute. Searcher sewing machine? Singer. Singer sewing machine. This is $3.99. And they have it for $50. We have a um, Pennsylvania College of Art and Design. One of those students needs to come in here and look at that. I wouldn't know if it was um, working or not. That's kind of a good deal. I see so myself. This is from Fred Myers. They're nesty Matrushka. Oh, those aren't nesty Matrushka dolls. There's a Hello Kitty doll in there. There's some masks. Oh, that's fun. Oh, Native American mask. This other one, cars, baskets, seashell. seashell basket, oh Nantucket home, made in China. Thomas 
this tray. Oh, angels. Just kind of hanging out here. Rhinestone Japan. Let me move this over here. Safe here. This is $15. It's made in China. It might be had a handle, but that's uh, that's crazy. Fifteen dollars for that. No wonder it's still here. There's some bathroom things. Coastal home. There's another angel. $1.99. Let's see. Oh, these are cute. Have a nice day. Oh, they're stitchery kits. Oh, that's cute. Let's see what this one is. Oh, those are kind of adorable. And what's this one? That's kind of fun. Oh, it goes this way. I like those. I like stitchery kits. And there's this one here. by Meg. That's kind of cute, actually. I actually like that. I like the handle. That's neat. Okay. Let's see. Rochester. There's a Starbucks mug. Oh. It's grippy on the bottom. I was not expecting it. It's like rubbery on the bottom. Here's another thick tray. $4.99. It's really thick plastic. Hmm. Ashtray. I did take the time to Google Lens this mug because it was a drug or a, some kind of pharmaceutical mug. And I do know that some of those do sell well, but that one wasn't a really high profit. So I didn't uh, buy that. And uh, this ginger jar was $10.99. crack right here. Oh, and from Bolivia. She has a crack. party mix that's fun winter fall spring and summer for $2.99 hmm. here's a hobbyist piece $3.99 made in $19.99 that's nice what's on the other side 
Well, that's actually nice. That's nicely done. That's a neat hobbyist piece. I like that. Oh, it has damage right here. It says it got broken here. It's a shame. It's neat. These are neat. Sushi plates. Mm. Another is that hobbyist? No, this is in China. Do you see anything good? What can we find? Hearts. Spoon rest. Oh, that's gross. I didn't want to finish their popcorn. Gooey eye bunny. <laughs> funny. Oh, here's some choir angels. And it's broken off. Kind of sweet. Oh, here's uh, these guys. I've sold these before. There should be a third one. Here's a Peter Rabbit. There should be another one. He has a chip on his foot. salt and pepper shakers. Those are neat. Whoops. Ah, she's okay. Those are kind of cute. Those pig heads. Boy and a girl. This little skinny bunny's cute. $3.99. wonder if he was a uh, bead because he has a hole in the top of his head. I like these too. $1.99. Poco. I like the look of them. Made in Korea. And then this little kitty cat. Avon. And a bunny. And a baby. It's a giant candle. Yep, they barely used it. $3.99. Hmm. Cheech and Chong. 50 years of Cheech and Chong. $6.99. wonder why it doesn't have their picture on it. $1.99. They're just named China. Kind of lightweight. A paella kit for fifteen dollars. No, the big pan. Oh, it had everything in it. Now it's just the pan. Here's Kodak outdoor lights. I wonder what year that's from for Kodak. Does it say? Me. This is La Crusade. No. <laughs> what is this? This might be a nightlight. Oh, this is cute. If there are more of these. 25 cents. These are sweet. If there are more of these. Of these. Woo. This one there. Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
I like this one. This has some age to it, some chalkware. $2.99. It's a little shelf. You can see something on that shelf there. Oh, this is an interesting figurine figurine or something that goes there. Yankee, oh, Yankee Candle, 1999. Must be a candle that hangs from there. Is this a hobbyist piece? Yes. There's a broken hand right here. What is this? Oneida. That's heavy. Some more temptations. Two ninety nine. Little dish. It's pretty. Let's see this mug here. Good people. Anything else? Bookish nook. The candle. Oh. $3.99. Floss. That's just floss. It's not a kit. Oh, look all these plates. A whole bunch of those plates. This cigar box is cool. How does it open? Oh, it looks like that. That's neat. La Galleria. $3.99 What is this? What is that? That's fantastic. Look at that. That's fantastic. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, I really like it. Seashell vase. I wonder how much they had it for at the antique mall. were on the cart. They're made by the same person. They're neat. I like the style of them. One's bigger than the other one. But they're both signed. There's a signature there. I think those are kind of cool. I need to look this up. And we didn't look inside to see if it's in good shape. Ooh, it's very clean inside. I think it's just fun for check party mix. <laughs> it's probably not worth a lot of money. Oh, here's some uh, Nightmare Before Christmas socks. Those are neat. Oh, Jenny would like those. All right. Let's look. Let's look this up. So hope for these glasses. Yep, four for two ninety nine. It's a good deal. Stuff. An angel. 
think we're soon going to be leaving. Here's some folders. There's Wilton Armature. All the shoe shine stuff. This is all from that same antique mall. The shoe brush. The coaster's on, but... Another shoe brush. Hmm. I don't know if anyone brushes their shoes anymore. Lizard. Is that a lizard? It's only a dollar ninety-nine. <laughs> Put that over here. This here. Some art. This is a cutting board, and the knife goes in here. I've sold these before. That's a cutting board. There's the knife. That knife goes in here, like this. Because that's what it is. We're going to wrap up our trip here to the Big Goodwill by looking at these really cool vintage glasses with the grapes on them. Thank you so much for everyone who joined Jimmy and me on our live video on this past Sunday. We had so much fun. We definitely would like to try it again. I think it will run much smoother. You won't have to look at us staring, <laughs> staring blankly into the ab abyss for the first couple seconds of the video. Now we know, I think once we've done it once, the second time you do it, it'll be so much easier. It was so great talking to everyone and answering your questions and just getting to know each other a little bit better. Thank you again also for your support of Jenny's channel. She's up over a thousand subscribers. She just dropped another video today, this evening as well. So thank you so much for checking out her channel and supporting her. I hope you enjoyed our trips to Goodwill. Thank you again so much for your support of me and my family. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope you are having a great day and I'll see ya.